Hello viewers, today's video will be painting BMW X5 rims black. These are the rims on a BMW X5. I do have another winter set that I'm going to show you how I'm going to prep it and paint it. I do live in a colder winter climate. So uh, as you can see, it's raining. I'm glad it's not snowing. Uh, I'm going to take you inside the garage and get Welcome started. To my garage, as you can see, I'm getting ready to paint my rims. I went ahead and I started sanding my rims. Um, I've seen other videos. There's guys, they're scuffing them up. Um, I felt like I wanted to uh, sand down uh, my rims a little bit. I live in a very cold climate and uh, I feel like preparation is key as uh, we need uh, maximum adhesion. I just want to share with you what I used to sand these. Um, these rims, um, I guess they weren't the easiest to sand. I used various pads. Um, I used this block, uh, didn't really do much. It's flexible, but didn't really do a good job. I don't recommend using it. I found this at the uh, local hardware store. It's okay, but it gets dirty pretty fast. So I say, don't waste your time with it. The best results I've had with, with these pads, uh, I bought them at the local paint store. Um, this one's fine. Uh, I had some medium uh, grit that I used. I would say the medium grit, somewhere around 120, 140. Uh, these fine, I would say somewhere close to 160, 180. So um, I used the uh, medium grit first, and then I went for the fine. Um, the advice um, I'm gonna give you when using these pads, um, maybe use one pad per rim, or maybe one pad per two rims. Uh, they get clogged up pretty fast. So once you get to the third rim, you know, you're doing double the work. So do change your pads, they're not expensive. So uh, I went ahead and scuffed them up uh, or sanded down the first coat. Um, also, um, good tip is um, to get the edges uh, sanded around here. Um, I let out the air out of the tires. So uh, that gives me a little bit more room to work with. And uh, these are pretty flexible. So you put your thumb in there, press down, you can sand around the edges. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to go ahead and clean these up uh, with this soluble paint solvent cleaner. You wanna get all the dirt and uh, grease off the rims for maximum adhesion. So I'm ready to start the paint process. Safety first, make sure you wear a mask, help you breathe. That's a respirator I picked up at the uh, local paint store. The paint I will be using is Duplicolor wheel paint. And uh, before I apply the paint, I'm going to use this uh, self etching primer. So here is what this looks like. I cleaned the rims. Sanded them obviously before that and um, as you can see I didn't use any cue cards even though I have some Picked them up at the dollar store, but um, I used this I found this I had this at home So it was lying around from a previous job that I did on a car that I used to own and um, So I said might as well use it. So I only had enough for three the fourth one I uh, taped and I taped everything in the back. All right, so I'm gonna start to painting process. Um, as you can notice, I have a heater. The reason why is um, where I live, it's uh, f fairly cold. So I need uh, a certain temperature. I want the uh, paint to stick. Now, once I start painting or spraying, I'm going to turn that heater off as a safety precaution because this stuff is flammable. All right, I'm gonna get started with the primer. So I applied the first coat. You can barely tell, I didn't light spray, can't really see much. I'm going to play it safe and do uh, more light coats. This is a gray color, it's a gray finish, so you won't be able to see it as much. But again, uh, this is the first coat, I made it a very light coat. I have to go three, four coats light, I prefer to do that, rather than uh, going heavy with one or two. I don't want any runs. So this is what four coats look like. I started off light on the first two coats and the third and the fourth, I went a little bit uh, longer with the sprays um, as I got comfortable using uh, the spray can. I have to admit 
that uh, the can doesn't spray evenly. You have to keep it at a 45 degree angle. I kept wiping the nozzle between each spray so it wouldn't clog. But again, um, it doesn't spray evenly. Uh, no matter what you do, angle, keep shaking it. But uh, I'm gonna do is try to even it out with light coats, very light coats rather than thick coats. And um, I'm almost out, I'm using one can. I feel uh, it's coming to the end. So I'll uh, try to even it out as much as I can and uh, show you guys what the end result is. I am finished priming. This is the end result. What you see right here are five coats. I'm going to let the product dry overnight. I'm gonna let it cure. I'm gonna turn off the heater because I'm gonna leave my garage for safety. I'm gonna unplug everything. As you can he see here, I have a heat gun. So what I did is uh, after the last coat just now, I applied the heat gun. I was very careful not to damage the tires nor the valve. So be very careful while using it. I used it lightly on medium and I went over it. So I'm gonna let these guys dry overnight. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna start my first coat of black. And uh, again, I'm gonna go light. They say that this should be sanded. I'll be honest with you, I don't feel like sanding it. It's taken me a whole day to get to this point. Um, I'm not sure why it's taking me so long, maybe because I'm being careful. But again, as I mentioned earlier, I'm in a colder climate. I need adhesion. It's not warm or sunny outside. I regret not doing this in the summer, but it is what it is. And uh, if anybody's attempting to do this now in winter when it's a little bit colder, this is the process. I hope you can have a takeaway from it. I'll uh, continue with part two of my video and um, I'll see you then. Thank you for watching.